by committee. I mean, is it important to you to, to make the most of your opportunities when you're out there knowing that you got other guys behind you? By far, I think that's important regardless if you have a four-man rotation or just a one-man rotation. You have to uh, capitalize on the opportunities that you get, and uh, I think that's the difference between good and great running backs. But isn't it, it's a bit of an ego position, isn't it? I mean, there's somebody wants to be the guy. Isn't that the case still? Always. You always want to be the guy. But just because you are the guy doesn't mean that you're going to produce the way you should. So with that being said, you got to be able to take whatever's given to you and capitalize on it. How tight are you guys as a group? Oh, we're very tight. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a lot of different things together um, outside of football. Uh, we stay in contact with each other, push each other through school. It's more than just football in that running back room. Talk about your relationship with Coach Wheatley and, and what you've gotten from him as a coach and, and, and a mentor. Uh, he's a great guy. He's been there. He's done it um, at a higher level. Um, so you know that whenever he's critiquing you or telling you things that you're doing good, um, it's coming from someone who's been at the highest level. So it's definitely appreciated. Personality-wise, uh, Karan, can you uh, go over the personalities? Uh, you seem pretty serious, but uh, I guess you've got a good <laughs> uh, sense of humor, too. Oh, yeah, by far. Uh, I'm a goofy guy. Um, I love to have fun. I love to be positive and, uh, you know, just enjoy life. Yeah, and your teammates, your running back, uh, yeah. you describe them? Well, we all are the same. We all are different guys. Everybody in that room is funny. Um, we just have a great time when we're all together. How much does it help you guys in practice that you know you have to bring it every day to, you know, earn carries? Um, I think it's part of the building process. It makes you um, better as a competitor, and it makes you better as a player, um, knowing that you have someone that's – uh, can easily step up and take your spot or take your opportunities. Um, it just pushes you to beca become better and better. Do you, do you agree with the logic? I mean, it does keep you fresher, right? I mean, you're not taking the beating when you guys are rotating like that. And I think Dep Drevno said part of it is for the your NFL futures that you're all fresher. Right. I mean, uh, those coaches, they've done it at high levels. So whatever they say, I trust it and I go with it. Um, I definitely see how the logic is working, and I think it's working, and it's going to continue working. You said up there that Durkin is very excitable. I think you said yes. something. I mean, what are, did you see that? Was that a regular thing, even though you're on the other side of the ball? Regular thing. He's an intense guy. Um, he recruited me down uh, from when he was working at Florida. So I seen that before he even got to Michigan of how intense of a guy he is. But he's a great guy with great character, and uh, he definitely pushes uh, his players. Um, and, I know that this is going to be an intense defense. You saw it in recruiting? What happened? How did you see that? Did he come Just, I've been to camps at Florida, um, okay. watched him coach. Uh, he coached me in some drills um, when I was at camps. And he's just a very intense guy. He loves the game, and uh, he gives it his all. You mean, you mean, you mean a, late, a late switch to Michigan down the recruiting trail. Talk about how that came about. Um, it was really me just uh, looking at life after football. Football is uh, not a promising game. You never know when your last snap or play is going to be. Um, so you got to think about the things that's going to build you as a person versus building you as a football player. And what is your post-football? Uh, post what do you see yourself doing? Whatever the um, I want to be a nurse anesthetist. Okay. So I want to go into nursing and uh, get that done. When did you make your final decision? Was it like the morning of signing day that yeah, you finally? The, when I was at the table on signing day, that's when I made that decision. It was in a clear-cut decision. Uh, no one knew what I was choosing. I didn't even know what I was choosing, but I just went with uh, my instincts. Did you have both of the letters in front of you? Yes. Iowa and Michigan? Yeah. yeah. No, um, you said, talked about up on the podium, uh, after the Michigan State game, the team wants to get better. What can you take from Saturday's game and build off that in these final four games this season? Or build off for Saturday against Maryland? Um, I think the biggest thing is just... Uh, continue doing what we've been doing. Um, not every game is going to be a blowout. Not every game is going to be a, a close one. Not every game is going to be a great game. You just got to continue doing the little things that we've been working on. And uh, as we continue doing that, I think we'll continue to produce. When you split, when you broke that down, though, that, you know, put the film back on that, what did you find? You know, areas in particular where it's like, gosh, you know, we have to firm up here. We have to do this. Um, I think just little things, you know, uh, some key blocking assignments, uh, some running courses, uh, some routes. I think just little things that every team has. Where have you made the most improvement this year? Um, I think being more patient. Um, you know, I'm, I can be very quick at times, and sometimes I can outrun my linemen. So knowing that I have that um, ability, me as a runner, I have to slow down and let things open up versus trying to 
make those things open up, and I think I've definitely gotten better at that. What are the se sensations that you feel in the open field? Everything's happening so quickly. What What do you hear? What do you um, see? What do you? My mind's completely blank. All I know is just getting to the end zone. If I break out, I got to score. I can't get caught from behind, I got to score. <laughs> That's the only thing in my mind. Looked like you got a bad spot on one of those late in the game. Uh, yeah. Did, it, did they mark you back like a yard? <laughs> yeah, they marked us back like two yards, but it's a competitive game. Things like that are going to happen, and uh, I'm just glad we came out with the W. Did you think you guys might challenge that spot, or did you talk to Coach about that at all? We talked about it, but it was mm -hmm. too late, so okay. uh, we couldn't do it. Um, but we knew our defense of style was going to come through for us. And, uh, but you had the first down, right, yes, in your opinion? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> so you really changed your mind from Iowa to Michigan at the table? It was it was that close? Yes, it was that close. What, what were you What were you thinking when you woke up that day? Were you just a mess? I was what? sick to my stomach. I was hurting. I didn't even want to go to signing day. <laughs> right. I didn't even know if I was going to sign on signing day because it was such a close call. You know, Iowa coaching staff was a great coaching staff. Iowa was a great place. Michigan is Michigan, mm -hmm. you know, so um, I went with that. <laughs> you signed, I mean, like an hour later, were you like, oh, I don't know if I should have done that, or was it just no, you were good no, with the No, line? no, no, no. I'm a firm believer. I live with no regrets. Um, so if I made a decision, then I'm going to make it and live with it. I knew at some point in time, I, I mean, either way I go, at some point during my career, I look back and be like, dang, what if I went to Iowa? Dang, what if I went to Michigan? So I knew that either way, you know, it was going to be a great situation wherever I went. How happy are you now? Oh, I'm extremely happy. Yeah. I'm extremely happy to be here and to be a part of the Go Blue Nation. What do you think it would be like to go there uh, in a couple weeks, I think? Oh, going into Kinnick Stadium? It's going to be like a homecoming. Because <laughs> 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 I remember, you know, being in that stadium, watching them play Iowa State, and uh, it was a great feeling, and it's a great stadium, a great atmosphere. So, uh, you know, returning there, um, it would be pretty cool. Did you see Devin Bush's hit on special teams? Yeah. Were you on the sideline when that happened? Yeah, I was right there watching it, and he just showed what Florida's all about. What does that do for a team when you see that happen? Say that again. What does it do for a team when you see a hit like that, and does it energize you? It gets you fired up. Yeah. Uh, seeing guys who are competing at that level and just are out there reckless and ready to make a play happen at any by any means, um, it definitely gets you fired up as a player. What makes you want to be a nurse, and how long have you wanted to be? Um, I've always cared about, you know, being around people and helping people out in any kind of way. And I've known since I was, like, seven years old I wanted to be in the medical field. And uh, just recently when I got here, I learned about becoming a CRNA, and uh, it grabbed my interest. And being a what? What I'm missing? What it's that? a CRNA. What's that? Nurse anesthetist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you hurt yeah. people on the uh, with your shoulders uh, on the field, and then you uh, gentle off <laughs> off the field. You hurt people on the field, but you're, <laughs> you're gentle. Yes, 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 yes. By far. <laughs> Does Devin hit like that when he's playing linebacker too? Yeah, he always going to bring uh, the hat, and uh, he does a great job doing it, as you saw. You visit Matt in the hospital up here when you can on off days or other days? Or? Yes, I've been up there a few times. Um, definitely would like to get up there a lot more. Um, but getting acclimated my first year, I didn't get up there as many times as I'd like to. But in my foreseeable future, I would love to get up there a lot more. You talked about Florida and that you guys you know, kind of band together, you Florida guys and stand up for each other. Durkin kind of opened that whole thing for Michigan, right?